In this training video, we will be looking at the form designer. Let's start off with what is a form. For the user, a form is a screen or UI where we would enter or review data. For example, a task or an assignment. For the designer, a form is a decisions design item we create and store it in a designer folder. It's a step in a workflow and it can be used to end a process if required to do so. Within decisions, there are a few different form types. First being an interactive form, which is the most common and it halts the workflow process. Second is an end form, which provides a standard closing message. It can also be used to continue the workflow process if needed. Next, we have a background form, which sets the appearance. And finally, we have an external form, which is a type of form that can be created in, each, in HTML, React, or Angular, for example. It also has the ability to halt the workflow process. Let's look at the form design and overview in its first part. These are the components that make up the form designer. The info bar, here you can change the name or description of your form. The action bar, these are the designer actions such as save, create checkpoints, see history, undo, and preview. The form controls panel, this is the toolbox. All available components are searchable, of course. And then we have the properties panel. This is where the form components are configured and set up. Do take note that as you're creating your form, that what you see is what you get. In other words, you design the form how the end user will see it. Let's take a look at the second part of the, of the form designer. There are two form components that one should also take note of. The surface, this is where the properties of the form itself can be edited. The form size, default form font, CSS styling, and active form flows. The root container, this is the base layer of your form. This is automatically assigned upon creation and can be changed by editing the surface properties. Now let's take a look at layouts. What exactly is the layout? A layout consists of the following components. The form component, which is the layout you can find uh, within the toolbox itself. Holds components, also a layout, which is meant to be a holder to easily organize and configure other form components. And then the ability to embed and stack. Layouts themselves can be embedded within other layouts to create uh, further configurations. Let's look at container types. These are available, these are the available container types within the form designer. There's grid, canvas, a responsive grid, a tab container, header container, split panels, and stacks. Let's take a look at one of the two most common containers used within decisions, the canvas container. In the canvas containers, form components will remain in their X and Y position. In other words, they are great for quick forms and for forms that never need to be resized. However, take note that they do not resize very well. Grid containers are the most flexible in terms of resizing. Grids are made up of columns and rows, and the resize behavior can be configured for both columns and rows. They can be either set to fixed, to be resized, and or to grow. Decisions best practices recommend that you use grids whenever possible. Before jumping into an exercise uh, to, to use what we just learned, let's go over a quick summary of what we just went over. First, 
What are the two types of containers in the form designer? And that, of course, would be a grid and a canvas. Next, as a decision that's best practice, which container type should be used when possible? That would be a grid. Finally, what is the form layout? A form layout, a form control, or a layout is a form control that holds other form controls. And finally, what is the root container? The base layer of the form designer. Now let's dive into decisions and practice what we just learned. We're first going to create a form uh, that will get that will get contact information from a user. So we'll have to add a few spaces for the user to input this information. We'll be looking to collect the name, the address, the phone number, and email of the user. And then we're going to create a flow and utilize this form that we created and add it to a flow to continue on designing. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's jump into our decision instance here and build a quick form. You go first and foremost, we're gonna go up to the top here and select create form. We're gonna create a new form. When you give it a name, I usually, I usually like to name it uh, with my first name first, and then form at the end. And we're going to be dropped into our form designer. From here, we can see properties on the right-hand side. We already have a grid, lo grid layout set up. And now we're going to actually drop in those boxes, text boxes, uh, in order for our user to input their name, address, phone number, and email. Let's go ahead and select the text box from the left-hand side. We're gonna label this name. Then we're gonna add a, another text box. And this is gonna be for the phone number. We're then gonna add a, another text box. And this is going to be for the address. Label it, label it as so. Finally, we're gonna add one more text box and this is gonna be for the email. Go ahead and label it. We have all our text boxes here, uh, but we are still missing a button. Let's go ahead and grab a button. Drag it over. And we're just going to label it as submit. Let's also add a cancel button. And now we have our basic form with name, phone number, address, and email. Now, of course, let's go ahead and resize it because we don't need such a large form. Let's resize it a little bit. There we go. We'll go ahead and save it. We'll go ahead and jump back out into our instance. And now we could actually create a flow and pull this form that we just created into the flow. We do so by using the step show form, connecting our step here to the beginning step, the start step. We're gonna go up to our right-hand right side, pick our create form, pick existing, we go to recent, and we can see our form here. Go ahead and pick it. And we can see that submit and cancel buttons, those two paths show up. And just to verify, we can go into edit our form directly from our flow designer, and we have our form ready to go. Now we can continue on building our workflow. 